Food banks helping community members facing food insecurities are now hurting from inflation themselves, struggling to provide for those who need it most. NBC Local 33's Vanya Joseph has those details. It's an ongoing battle that we strive to fight every day. Inflation has put a squeeze on everyday essentials. Now, food banks are having to contend with higher prices and supply chain issues. President of the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Mike Manning, says this is draining their resources. Donations are holding, but to say they're matching the numbers is, is a bit of a challenge for us because we're still seeing 8% inflation this month. What are we going to face next month? While it's costing the food bank more to combat food insecurity, Manning says the demand is also increasing. We're also seeing so many more clients get in line or back in line, people who didn't need us any longer, who now, because of these prices, are being forced to get in line to get assistance from us again. This is many states are ending the emergency benefits put in place during the pandemic. The SNAP benefits that people receive from the federal government aren't going as far. And it's anyone's guess when inflation will slow down. The food bank, which relies heavily on donations, is now having to change how they do things in an attempt to break even. We're trying to redesign our purchases. We're also redesigning our routes to maximize them so we can get as our highest fuel efficiency as possible. Manning says he can't guarantee they'll meet all needs, but is hoping the federal government will take some action. We are anticipating increased costs for the rest of the year just as a precaution, and then we'll have to figure out where we go from there. Vanya Joseph, NBC Local 33 News. Well, if you are interested in donating to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, we have that information on our website. That's brproud.com.